Welcome back to MMA Al Dente. I'm here to talk about Andrea Lee versus Miranda Maverick. This, uh, I think, the first fight of the night. And my pick for this fight is Miranda Maverick winning a decision. I think Miranda Maverick is the certainly the stronger fighter. And I do think that's going to play a role. Helping uh, wrangle Andrea, Andrea Lee down to the ground. And keep herself from being wrangled. And on the feet... I don't think either girl's in danger of being finished, but uh, this one's up for grabs on the feet. Andrea Lee, while she's not the cleanest striker and she's hittable, she is a very active striker. And I think with no big moments, her activity could easily win her this fight or any other fight on the feet. But I'm picking Miranda Maverick because I do think Miranda will be competitive on the feet and dominant on the ground and have the strength to give her the uh, advantage, the positional advantage there. I also think... Miranda has better jujitsu overall. I mean, Andrea Lee has uh, no slouch down there at all. She's probably a better grappler than she is a striker. I don't fucking know. But uh, Miranda Maverick is definitely a better grappler than she is a striker. And I think Miranda Maverick is... I mean, they're both healthy, but Miranda Maverick is certainly healthy and durable. She's never been finished, whereas Andrea Lee's been submitted once as a pro to Sarah Delelio. I think her first loss, and she was also TKO'd once as an amateur, but it was the Caitlin Chukagin in round three. Uh, slight edge due to being the uh, younger, healthier fighter. Slight edge and durability to Miranda Maverick, and when I mean in a total sense, being submitted and being rocked. But I, uh, I also think Miranda Maverick should win a points battle with no big moments. Again, I think she's going to be the stronger girl and able to control the fight throughout the most part, uh, for the most part. But uh, Andrea Lee, look, I'm aware of the context. She's uh, lost a lot lately, but all to good fighters. I mean, losing to Natalia Silva, that's like saying someone lost to Alexa Grasso. Uh, maybe I uh, jumped the gun there, but she's a very good fighter, and there's no shaming having that loss on your record. Viviani Arujo, the girl that just gave uh, Natalia Silva half a fight, uh, no shame in losing to her either. And uh, Macy Barber, another one of her recent losses. No shame in losing to her, especially when you won the fucking fight and they gave the decision to the wrong person. But uh, despite all the context and whatever, I think Andrea Lee is underrated at this point, but I think Miranda Maverick is as well. Miranda Maverick was dominated on the ground by Erin Blanchfield and Jasmine Jazdavicius, and that's hurt her stock. But I don't see that being a path to victory for Andrea Lee. I think Andrea Lee is good on the ground. She's certainly better in a jiu-jitsu sense than someone like Jasmine Jastavicius. Uh, But I don't think she's got the wrestling of Jasmine or Erin Blanchfield. And I think Miranda Maverick is going to have uh, uh, a, a clean decision victory. Uh, that's my prediction for this fight. I'm waiting to see the props that aren't available for me yet for this fight. But Miranda Maverick's money line right now. Uh, worth a sprinkle for me. I put it in a parlay or two at minus 185. But I don't love it because, again, I'm very sure her path to victory is a decision. So uh, I'm waiting to see that and get it at a juicier number than minus 185. But I was still pleased enough with minus 185. Miranda Maverick. Like, share, subscribe. All that horse shit. Check out my other videos and something about like comments. Leave a comment.